And there is no other place of the size and scale of India, a country so divided by inequality, divided by caste, divided by class, divided by gender, divided by urban and rural, rich and poor, no other place is as ripe for transformation as India is. India is not going to have an evolution. India is going to have a revolution. I can tell you this, there is no country on earth that has had so many people discover the internet in such a short space of time. No other country on earth. The car defined Americana. It defined the American dream. Now you take all of those things about what the car meant to the baby boomer generation in America and you transpose that to India. The phone in India, the smartphone, is the new identifier. But more than that, and this is the reason why I began to write my book, is the smartphone the vehicle for a new Indian economy? India has 300 million illiterate people. And the smartphone is an amazing tool because it suddenly, if it were in everyone's hand, gives them the ability to access things that they couldn't have done before. Even though we have all these new technologies coming in that could transform India, there are obstacles. There is also the fact that there are entire villages in India that have banned the smartphone for women, especially for girls under the age of 18. However, India is number one at something, and it's something that's not very good when it comes to the internet. We are number one at WhatsApp forwards, that's true. We're also number one at being Facebook users. But there's something very bad that we're number one at right now. And that is internet shutdowns. I don't know if you know about this, but India has more internet shutdowns than any other country on earth. The reason why this is done is because the government is trying to protect law and order. So in the year 2016, for about six months, the government decided to just shut the internet off in Kashmir because they were trying to prevent militants from being able to access social media and spread their cause and their fight. But not just militants. With that, there was a lot of collateral damage. I mean, according to Brookings, Kashmir lost hundreds of millions of dollars that year from lost business opportunities because of internet shutdown. I thought that when Indians start using smartphone apps that they will become very westernized, that they will become much more like Americans. They'll shared a lot of the Indianisms that they grew up with. And I was completely wrong. I got this from many, many people I spoke to that, you know, no matter how westernized you become, the Indian values don't change. It reinforces it. So you have a circumstance where tech is going to change India, but at the same time, India will change tech. And I'm gonna end with a quote by a guy called Melvin Kranzberg, who in 1985 had this wonderful line, where he said, technology is neither good nor bad, nor is it neutral. And that's something for you to keep in mind.